Nigerian beef. <laughs> How Ghana, Nigeria started a beef. Okay, well, Ghana and Nigeria actually don't share border. We don't share border, but we have things in common. Ghana, Nigerian beef or Ghana, Nigerian, the history of Ghana, Nigerian beef. <laughs> Let's go. So we start with the history. Ghana is the first country in sub-Saharan Af Africa to get independent. Ghana is a very cheerful country. Ghana share border with Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Togo. So Ghana, Nigeria actually does not share border. By a little bit history is Ghana got its independence before Nigeria. So that is also another beef. Ghana is only a 31 million population and Nigeria is 206 population. That is a big country. Ghana is actually the younger brother of Nigeria. But Ghana, Nigeria beef is big. So we fight over celebrities. We fight over many things. Yeah, we fight over football. So Nigeria has a population of 200, over 200 million actually. Yeah. And it's a very famous country, one of the giant countries in Africa. But Ghana is Ghana. <laughs> and uh, how the history started. In the British colonial rule, Ghana was fighting against the British colonial rule for many years. The British government then, the colonial British government, sent most people from Nigeria, mostly from Hausa side, to come and fight against what Nigerians say, the small Ghana. There's a lot of stuff that we share in common, but there's a lot of Nigerians who are saying things that Ghanaians don't like, like small Ghana, like the politicians used to say small Ghana, or they used to say um, the, the water in the whole of uh, Lagos, the water used for one day in Lagos can save the whole Ghana. So all this sort of um, outrances brings beef. And then we have the jollof beef, we have the football beef, we have the women beef, we have artist beef. So goes on and on. Yeah. So in 1969, the then Ghana Prime Minister, Dr. Abifa Buzia, brought or signed a law called the Alien Compliance Law. That have to get all foreigners in Ghana, mainly West Africans, repatriated to their home countries. And that was very hard for our dear friends, Nigeria. But I think the beef started when the then British government brought Nigerians and fight against Ghana. That is when the whole beef started. And in 1969, Buzia brought this alien compliance law just for foreigners in Ghana to leave. So that was a lot of outcry. Many Nigerians moved back to Nigeria and they, it was so sad for them moving back because there were a whole lot of Nigerians living in Ghana and it was a very sad moment for many to move back home and live in their homes. They have to sell their homes and all stuff. And it was very, very, very sad. So the beef goes on and on and on. 
The name of Ghana means warrior king. And this is unprecedented. A warrior king. Ghana is always a warrior. So Nigerian flag is white and green. The Nigerian football team is called the Green Eagles. A big green eagle. And Ghana football team is called the Ghana Black Stars. You see the black star in the middle. That is a shining star of Africa. That's why Ghana is Ghana. We are Ghana. My dear people, I'm not trying to be biased. I love Nigeria. I have Nigerian friends. So I'm not trying to be biased, but Ghana is Ghana. The beef is also in me. We are Ghana. So Nigeria is a big country. There's so many things we have in common, but there's always this beef. Then in 1983, payback, payback. The then Nigerian government, led by Shewu Shagari in 1983, also said, Ghana must go. Hey, <laughs> where should Ghana go? You came to us, we kicked you out, and now we come to you, you have to kick us. So you do me, I do you. That's always what's going on between Ghana and Nigeria. So the then Nigerian president, Jehu Sagari, also kicked Ghanaians out of Nigeria. And that was a very sad moment. Many Ghanaians lost their life. Many, many, many of them were killed, slaughtered in Nigeria. It was something that Ghanaians will never forget this. And many Nigerians, many Ghanaians were married to Nigerians. They have to leave their loved ones. Uh, before, when the law came in Nigeria, they said, well, the Ghanaians who are working academically can stay and then later on it was said that all ghana must leave so ghana must go yeah ghana should go away no now you will come to us again let's see how the beef goes man it was a year after shagari left when mr muhammad buhari came so shagari was saying only Illegal people should leave, but academical people should stay. But when Mr. Muhammad Buhari came, he spoiled the show. He said, No, illegal migrants from Ghana or any West African state should leave. Oh my God, Mr. Buhari again. Oh, we, we, let's see how the beef goes. <laughs> I like this beef. Ghana Nigerian beef. Is a really beef. We fight over hustle. We fight over who speaks the best English. Normally, we fight stupidly. We fight over jollof. Oh my God! You fight over food. <laughs> we fight over uh, women who have got the nice, good women. Ghana, Nigeria. Which one is the headquarters of hustle? Oh my God, I think I give this the headquarters of hustle to Nigeria. Now my bias comes in. Now we will try to compare some certain things. Ghana, Nigeria, who have got the best swag. Oh, oh, more. Oh, more. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it to my listeners. Ghana, Nigeria, who have got the best women, the beef goes on. Ghana and Nigeria, who have got the best football team. Yeah! <laughs> we go kick Niger always out. Oh my God. How many times we kick Ni Niger out? This beef is hot. Then we will come to security. Oh my God. Security in Nigeria. It's very bad. So I'll ask the government 
to help its citizens to get good security in Nigeria. Then we'll come to friendly. Which of the countries are very friendly? I think you more know, say, Ghanaians are more friendly than Nigerians. Ghana and Nigeria, who are more business oriented, oh my God. Ghanaians don't know how to deal with money. I think Nigerians are better doing business. Yeah, they are better business oriented than Ghanaians. And which of the two countries have got money? <laughs> I think Nigeria have got a lot of cash. But the country deserves better. Its people deserve better. So we talk about names. <laughs> Ghanaians, we have like Kwame, Kofi, Nigeria has promise, favor. Somebody called promise. Somebody is called courage in Nigeria. These are all some things we fight. Then we talk about John Love. <laughs> John Love. Jollof. Ghana and Nigeria, which of the countries make best jollof? I leave it to all you listeners, whoever I think Ghana make the best jollof. This time, my bias is again there. Now we talk about power shortage. <laughs> In Ghana, it's called doom so when it's dark like this. Now, all Nigeria is dark so ghana nigeria doom so power shortage i think ghana is better than nigeria the nigerian government should really see to it that there is power because people are crying so much in nigeria they live without power and that's really bad and then we talk about Young people, character of young people who have the, be the bad character, Ghana, Nigeria. I think both are almost the same skill, but I think Nigeria, young people have bad character, this Sakawa and all this, by all means necessary to get rich. And this is really worrying the country, Nigeria. Thank you so much, my dear people. I hope you enjoy my beef. Like I said, this issue of Ghana Nigerian beef came from long time. But I think all ignited when a lot of Hausa people were sent to Ghana, not only Hausa, a lot I would say Nigerians were sent to Ghana to help the British Army to fight against Ghana to defeat the Ashanti Kingdom and defeat also the Kingdom of Ghana. That is how Ghana rose up. Ghana being a warrior king stood up. So the hate is there. This is how the hate started. But I think we all have come to a good age that we do things in common. There are still a bit of beef, especially football beef, You know now, <laughs> the black star, I told you, the black star. The star will always fly, fly higher. And the eagle can never catch the star. That is why we always defeat Naja. But anyway, they are our brothers. Have to um, collaborate to do things better in Africa. If Nigeria is good, the whole Africa will be good. If Nigeria is bad, that's why the whole Africa, we have problems. So Nigerians, I know you are fighters. I know you don't give up. Fight against bad governance. Ghana, freedom and justice, but there are still bad people in society that we have to fight against. Let's make Africa a good place. This history of Ghana Nigerian beef have come to stay. <laughs> yeah, best jollof.
women. I forget about films, theater, all started in Ghana. Nigerians came and copied it. They better it. Now Nigerian films and everything is getting better. It's better than Ghana. So we have all this beef, but we are all brothers. Okay, uh, now we are going to take audio voice. And uh, remember, on TikTok, we reach 100k. I know on TikTok, you know, it's Ghana, 50-50, Ghana Nigerians, uh, they are dragging their set there. They are fighting their set there. They are throwing even blow. <laughs> now we are going to listen to the audio voice to, for today. Mm. All right, thank you. Again, yeah. Today's video is very interesting. It's a manager. Today's video is very interesting because there have been very sensible people who have, you know, almost throughout the video, see, most people have spoken about what is going on about the Nigerians and the attribution to the, to the person who is in, in charge now in Ghana. You see? Yes. So people don't have wisdom and even they don't have, some people don't have common sense. So when we are mentioning some people's names with pain and with the level of disruption that, you know, those individuals are inflicting on the nation, on the nation I think sensible people should understand. You see? First of all, people have the right to criticize. People have the right to criticize. And nobody can come and stop that person and say, why are you criticizing that? Why are you doing that? You can only come and dispute any allegation that someone has made. You make sensibly, sensible, sensibly, rebut the person sensibly and logically so that everybody will understand. You don't have any right to come and tell somebody he's criticizing this one, he's criticizing the other one. People are destroyers. Some so-called leaders or electors of officials are destroyers. They are worse people. And people know that. So, so don't come to social media and fool yourself because somebody is criticizing this person, somebody is criticizing this one, and somebody is criticizing this one. People have the right to their own opinions. So who are you to come and challenge that? You can come and challenge, you can come and read parts, dispute politely, sensibly, okay? Informatively, for people to know that what maybe the position somebody has taken is rather not the case and you will explain yourself but when you come and make yourself as if you are polite, you don't know the person you are talking to you don't know because the person you are worshiping and you see as you know who is he who is he because if people don't elect politicians how do they become leaders eh? and you don't know anything about politics you don't know and so you're only talking and saying foolish things and I thank God that people have just spotted you and telling you what you need to hear. Probably it's unfortunate that you have a mental problem and maybe you can't make sense of yourself. But equally, since you've taken your time and coming to criticize somebody who needs, you know, no, you're not criticizing me, you're even insulting me. Plus, you, you, you can't even define what an insult is. You are coming to insult me because I'm criticizing somebody you think you have interest in either tribally or i don't know family or i don't know what it is so i've already given you my background basically and i'm continuing to let you know that if you did listen to the guy who came on today's video i think today is 15th today is, is it monday no today is tuesday so is it today is it uh, the date is even not very important so you see, you see the pain that people are talking you know do you hear the pain that people are talking from where people are coming from in this era, where the things that are going on regarding these Nigerians and where Ghana is going now. Have you heard, are you hearing them? Whom do they have to blame? Whom do they have to blame? Who brought about that? Who is in charge now? Who should do something about it? And why are they keeping quiet? And you are saying they have family. This is, are you, can't you think at all? If the person in charge is allowing this, Nigerians to commit this kind of evil in the country and the person has a family relationship his cousin also have family relationship there which which sensible person on earth will never say that is because of that you see don't use mental dislocation or you know madness insanity to you know give excuse for yourself that you can't think like the commentators are saying if Nigerians are propping themselves in Ghana over 10 million you forget about the number killing doing all kinds of crimes that Ghanaians are not doing and if they did they did it in a limited limited manner 
And the president sitting there is not saying anything. He has opened the borders for even seven years, eight years, people to be exploited, to come and do prostitution. People are getting be, being getting killed. And all this stuff you are hearing, everybody is mentioning, it is the president that will mention his name. Whose name are they going to mention? And you seem not to understand because you, you don't have, your brain is not functioning. If you, if you think you are really mad, you have mental dislocation. Why are you even coming to make comments? You can't just, you just don't want to think. You see, it's foolishness, it's not an excuse. Lack of knowledge is not an excuse. A kufaru is the cause of all these Nigerian problems in Ghana, whether you like it or not. So stop fooling yourself and find yourself to sleep on your hospital bed. Okay, that's your last warning. Thank you. Yes, Master Manager. I've been long term your subscriber and I uh, choose to be not to comment about any your shows that you bring in. But since Mr. Bo Herrick man came to your channel, it make me kind of change the way I am a little bit. I was watching today's video that it came on and Mr. Boherick guy was saying something and uh, I was a little bit doing something ready to go out so I kind of like I said these days what i do is when his message comes on i just skip that part but the little bit that i hear he was talking about uh reading the comments and i've asked myself if he really a real person who he know what he's doing he himself he will know this because according to what he was reading if somebody have an issue in in, in his or her family normally what it can identify is the person become like insult every other people's business he get involved those things make me know that the guy the person have a problem at home and see about two three days this guy being sick because of me and other people message that he listening to to make him sick he's not okay so his group that if they, they they find out they probably ask him mr bohere are you okay because our past week we don't see you the way you acting, you don't act normal. So he probably explaining to them the reason why or what he hear or what he watch. <laughs> so they kind of just go to your channel, Mr. Manager. They they kind of go to your channel and say something maybe to make him feel okay. See, you know these games. We been there a long time ago, but our type of star, we do it positive way, not the way that he doing it. He go on and talk about he being criticized long time ago. Who cares? because of maybe my message to make him confused he don't really 
No, the problem is if you're being criticized since you are in, in your mother's womb, who cares? That's not what our problem is. Are you confused? We're talking about insult. And now, I don't know who he addressing. Because of our message to him, he make him try to tell his history or he try to respond to what we say about him. We say you are bald headed. And you insult too much, reduce it. That's what we say to you. It's not about you criticize Mr. Chikata or Rollins or whoever. Nobody have it. Nobody say anything about you criticize. Nobody. Are you on the line? Or you try to change the topic? You confuse? You see, if we don't sound the way you don't sound, before we know, we change the topic. Nobody saying thing about you being criticized. We say you insulting people. Your insult is more than the the message, the topic. That's the issue here, my friend. And you going to talk about somebody saying you have a problem with the wife. I already answered you that question. If somebody tell you that, you believe it. And what make you believe the story that you uh, you reading? To me, I was saying, is that person or this person come online and try to tell you, don't insult, reduce it. And you, somebody come to you and you believe that person and saying, that person have a problem at home or his family. When you see, you hear the voice, do you see this person messed up, something bothering him, something going on in his home or he have an issue with that person, wife or the family? Do you think so? To you, if somebody saying that to you, I'll believe it. Even though if I never hear a story like that, you're reading, I already think that. I said, no, this guy have an issue at home. Either wife or somebody did something. So you've been criticized since Rollins time. It makes me question to you. What did you achieve? Did you achieve from your criticize anybody? Tell us what do you make you your criticism change to Master Manager's channel. Are you gonna tell us since I've been criticized others? It make Master Manager channel change it to a positive way. It make JJ Rawlings start free SHS. It make a Kufuado start 1D1F. Let us hear from what you saying you being criticized. Because you still don't see if it's true that you being criticized since when you are under sea. When you wasn't born yet, you start that way. 
Okay. We hear from you. What it makes society change to a positive way? We want to hear. Today, your video was very short. You did good today. Because of that, I make it short for you. Because even though the death did something like this, how much we? Right? So, I will end here. And, like I said, this is not my style that I have to be because the time wasting for this I will use it but for you I will make a time because I don't want to hear those cursing the channel that I come and try to listen to what's going on in my country or around me I'll be around Master Manager Channel for a long time. Because of you, I talk. Social media is new to you. I'll be around a long time. So, your people try to make you feel a little bit better because you wasn't good. When you hear that I find out who you are, you were sick. You wasn't feel good. You wasn't better. Okay? So that's why you see those kind of things. They probably try to cheer you up and at the same time laughing at you. Your own message, they send it to you. Thank you very much. When you exchange what to yourself, I hope you, you people are okay. If you think it's okay and you think that we can achieve our goal in this way, we are, we are looking at you people. We are looking at you people because uh, me, sometimes I don't involve myself. Uh, if you notice me normally, I don't normally interrupt him when you come for these uh, audio messages. I was just listening to you because majority of the messaging is for the people out there uh, followed by me and I just listen to them because the messaging is not for me alone so, but if you people thinking that uh, is the best way for you people to reply yourself because when you keep doing things like this you are like I don't know you are shining your energy to this kind of aspect you are like you are killing people actions like you are distracting you are fact you are distracting people Maybe an example now, people want to listen to history, people want to know what really happened, and you people, your own is to this one, insulting this one, this one, insulting this one, this one, calling this one name, this one, calling this one name. I don't really understand. I'm uh, just listening to it. But if you people think that this is the best way to go, I'll just, we are just listening to you people. But I think it's not the best way to go because people want to be educated, people want to know what is happening in society. That's what people are here for. People are not here for to listening to insult this one, insult this one, this one, say this one, this one, drag this one, this one, use it. People know. I, okay, now ask yourself now. You that uh, you are insulting this, this one, drag you. This, you just be aware that people that are here are not two people. They are not two people. There are many people. People don't really come for you. People don't really come here to listen to you for insulting. People come here for you to speak, for them to learn some two things, even though be three things, at least two things or one thing. Definitely, when you are talking something that is making sense, people will definitely learn one particular thing. But okay, now tell me, two of you dragging yourself, what are people going to learn from this one? Call this one name, this one, call this one, and two of you are okay. We are watching you people now. I mean, you know me now. Me as normally I don't do sentiment. If you send, I'll release it for you because that is what you put me here for. Always I keep saying that I wasn't a YouTuber, but people make me 
for what I'm doing because I always keep saying it. But this thing, the way people are doing, I think it that it's not the best way to go because we have missions. We know what we are doing. We come for. We know what we come for. But if people are, as if people are coming in this way, but, but tomorrow now, if you come today, come tomorrow, another people also will also copy this way and then also bring this in. Before you know, you turn to something else. People have to advise yourself because of uh, majority of people who are listening to you, they come here to learn. Some people want to know what is really happening. Some people are coming here also to tell their experience, what, what the thing that has happened to them. Not uh, this one say this, this one insult this one. Instead of you concentrate where you are going and you people are busy now attacking yourself. At the same time, again, you people are fighting freedom. You are fighting so that with, you are keep, you are laying your voice to fighting freedom for upcoming generations. But now this way now is like a form of the strategy. And you know what is happening already. And you know why you are here. So, like if anyone coming out to say things, you bring your own, not to go personal to that person. If what this uh, Master B, Master A talk is not correct, okay, you as Master C, bring your own. Let people also listen because if Master A says something, you may not agree with that Master A, but there also are other people who agree with that Master A. You people should understand that. You people should all understand. Sometimes some people will say something, some people will come, oh, eh, this thing you say is not correct. For me, I've seen it to be wrong. Because what your own, what people wanted, they want you to come out when you are condemning somebody own, bring in your own. Tell us what is supposed to be, what is right. Not what this one come, this one bashing this one. It can't be like say we are going personal between one to two to three people. Instead of and you people at the same time, you want to fight freedom. You want to stop a certain tense. You want to stop a certain behavior. You want to conquer something that is going on in the country. But now instead of you uh, laying your voice and saying condemning what is going on, you are busy now attacking yourself personal. I don't really understand. Like sometimes. I don't understand when you send me, I just play it because uh, I don't just want to be offended by anybody. Understand? Because no, when you know me normally, if sometimes when I I go off from this thing, people would definitely brought me in. So majority of people know now. They know me already. Some people really know me physically, they know me. But when I go off, some people bring me up, they will bring me in. I hope you understand. Please. We are not here to drag one another. We are here to there is specific thing we are targeting. You just want to cancel some specific thing. But this, you are attacking one on one now. It's not going to help anything. It's not going to take anybody to anywhere. Now, people just come here to listen to history. And after they are enjoying program, maybe they are listening to, they are enjoying people, educating from people. Then before you know now, uh, insult, querying between two people, we just enter. How, how will you feel? How will you feel? You normally, how will you feel? Two of you are just dragging yourself and you are okay. To me, it's not okay, but if you think it's the best way to go, we are listening to you people. We are listening. Because me like this, I'm a learner. Okay, I'm a learner. That's why I can't condemn anybody. Everybody have right to speak whatever you have. Me, that is how I've seen it. Freedom of speech is allowed. Everybody have right to speak. So that's why if you send me audio, audio voice, I will play it. Because that is, your free, that is what you think that you can offer people. That is the message you think that. You think, or not be me think, you think that. This is what you think you can offer people and you think you are okay with it that's you okay when you are listening to yourself sometimes when you you are doing something that's no okay and you are listening to yourself if you are okay with it that is fine i hope you're saying that is fine if you think it's okay and you are listening to yourself and you think it's okay to you that is you don't think about me don't think about say master manager will feel this way no don't think about me don't think about me think about the people who are listening to you don't think so oh, maybe if you do like this master manager nothing concerns me think about the people if you are insulting or if you are misleading people you are leading the people who are listening to you that's why i always say that if anyone says something and is thinking you are not okay with it you can reply you and correct the person hell you make no turn to something else i keep saying it because our motive or I don't know how I put it. The way we think is not the same way. Sometimes when some people are saying wrong things, some people are supporting the wrong thing. And when some people are saying the right thing, and some people to prove it to be wrong, and the right people are also supporting the right 
and some people who don't support the right thing will support the wrong thing but the wrong people will make the right thing to be wrong you see say we are different almost all of us we are all different for me i'm waiting for you what advice do you have for them if you have any do you want to contribute i'm waiting for you or anything you think say you are it's okay for you to do we are waiting for you we are waiting thank you bye bye